I love these type of emails. I just get a kick out of them. Uh, so I just thought I'd read one. It's one of these, I have hacked your computer emails, send me money. Uh, I'm going to read it in an accent, but not a real accent, because I can't do real accents. So I'm not trying to uh, make fun of any type of accent. This is just my evil villain accent, if you want to call it that. <laughs> anyway, this one I, I love because the subject is, Hi, victim. It starts off, Hi, victim. This is my last warning. I write you because I put a malware on the web page with porn, which you have visited. My virus grabbed all your personal info and turned on your camera, which captured the process of your ananism. Ananism. O-N-A-N-I-S-M. Just after that, the soft saved your contact list. The soft. That's just the cool way people say software. It's short. It's shorter, so it's cool and modern. The soft saved your contact list. I will delete the compromising video and info if you pay me 2,000 euro in Bitcoin. This is the address for the payment. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's how you say the address of a Bitcoin wallet. I give you 24 hours after you open my message for making the transaction. They know when I open the, the, the email. They know when I'm reading it. Because as soon as you read the message, I will see it right away. Because, you know, computers. It is not necessary to tell me that you have sent the money to me. This address is connected to you. My system will delete everything automatically. Promises after you transfer confirmation. If you need 48 hours, 48H, if you need 48 hours, just reply on this letter with a plus. That was nice of him, right? You know, this is the last warning. He's only going to give me 24 hours, but he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's going to give me, I just need, you know, 48 hours, you know. You can visit the police station, but nobody can help you. I don't live in your country, so they cannot track my location, even for eight months. But if I hold out for nine months, I got the guy. That's my plan. Goodbye. Don't forget about the shame. And to ignore, your life can be ruined. I'm so concerned. This came from the admin of 332261.com. And apparently his name is Inberg? I-N-B-G-R. Inberg. Inberg. Inberger. Inberger. His name is Inberger. Inberger. Inberger? Inberger. I Inberger. Anyway. I just find these emails humorous. I'm sure you've read them, and I just thought maybe you'd want to hear me read them, but probably not. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs down if you don't like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. But most of you probably don't care either way, so don't, don't do either. Okay, just, just give me another 48 hours. Give me 48 hours. I'll fix this. Don't, don't, don't give me a thumbs down. Give me 48 hours. I'm sending you a plus sign. Yeah. Okay. For those of you stuck around, here's another dramatic reading of an email scam. Hello! My nickname in Darknet is Duke15. I will begin by saying that I hacked this mailbox. Please look on the from in your header. More than six months ago. Through it, I infected your operating system with virus. It says Trojan after that in parentheses. Created by me! And I have been monitoring you for a long time. He says to check the, uh, the header of my email. Um, and the from address is my address. Um, but anybody can send an email. You know it was fun back in the day? I'm going to put this on a pause and say back in the day, and I'm not talking that long ago, less than 10 years ago, well still, 
you can send an email. Any computer can send an email. If your address is bob at gmail.com, you can send an email from your computer with a return address of bob at gmail.com. And back in the day, it was, you know, fun to mess with people. I used to mess with friends all the time. Um, but most servers, most uh, web uh, mail servers uh, will delete or put mark as spam any or reject altogether any email that says it's coming from a server and it's not from that server. Uh, and I can very quickly look here and see that the IP address it came from, the web server, is not my, my server's address. Anyway, I mean, we know this isn't real. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Uh, but it's very easy. I use MUT as my email client. All I have to do is when I'm looking at an email, hit E, and it gives me the raw text, and I just close that email. There we go. Uh, and I can see right there in Vim all that information, although you can do that with any email client by clicking on something. Anyway, running out of time on my camera here. Uh, even if you change your password after that, it does not matter my virus intercepted all the caching data. Computer terms on your computer and automatically saved access for me. I have access to all your accounts, social networks, email, and browsing history. That's the important one, browsing history. Accordingly, I have the data of all your contacts, files from your computer, photos, and videos. I was most struck by the intimate content site that you occasionally visit. I have, uh, you have a very wild imagination, I tell you! He, this guy really likes exclamation marks. During the past time of entertainment there, I took screenshots through your camera of your device synchronizing with what you were watching. Oh my god, you are so funny and excited! I'm funny and excited. Also, I like how he says through your device, because he doesn't even know what device he supposedly hacked. And again, I log in to a headless server to check my email. So even if you got access to that little server, there's no webcam, no, there's, there's nothing on there, you know? And I also don't have a webcam on, on my desktop computer, and except for when I plug it in when I need it, which is rare. Anyway, I think that you do not want all your contacts to get these files, right? If you are of the same opinion, I'm really not, think I mean, I don't care. I, I don't think my contacts want to see that. But I don't care if they see it. They might, just, they might never talk to me again. They might go blind. Then, I think that 500 is quite a fair price to destroy the dirt I have created. I read that a little too. He didn't have an exclamation mark on that sentence. I should have not read it like that. Send the above amount, $500, <clears throat> Uh, on my Bitcoin wallet. Blah, 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 blah. Again, that's the Bitcoin address. As soon as the above amount is received, I guarantee, I guarantee that the data will be deleted. I do not need it. Otherwise, these files and history of visiting sites will get all your contacts from your device. They're going to get the contacts from all my device. Or is it going to send to all my contacts? I'm not sure. After you read this message, and of course he's hacked my device so he knows when I've read it, I guess, I will receive an automatic notification that you have seen the letter. I hope I taught you a lesson. Do not be so nonchalant. Please visit only proven resources and don't enter your password anywhere. Don't, pa don't enter your password anywhere. Um, and what's fun is I got that email uh, just recently and then like a month before that I got the same exact email but from a different user on the darknet but it's pretty much the same exact email actually it looks like once a month like every 30 days I get one um, but uh, that one didn't have this line uh, towards the end it says since reading this letter you have 50 hours exclamation mark Hours, which I think is so great because the last guy only gave me 24 and then he said you know let me know plus I'll give you 48 hours this guy skips all that and gives me a full 50 hours that is nice and he gives me that less life lesson at the end please visit only proven resources and don't enter your password anywhere
Never! Never enter your password anywhere! This guy is awesome! I should send him the money, the $500. Actually, this email says $548, where the other one said $500. I should send him that money just for being a cool guy and give me good advice. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that you have a great day. I'm just waiting for my camera to run out. I got like five seconds left, I think, and then uh, the card's gonna be full. I timed this well. Maybe?